Hey everybody, I hope you're doing good. Okay, I'm back with my second video. I've been wanting to do this video ever since a friend of mine, Mommy's Angel Eyes 6, recommended it to me. So thank you, Joanna, for that recommendation. Um, this is the rainbow tag that's going around. And I actually had to do a little research to figure out what... I mean, they put the colors on there, and I guess I just never bothered to read or uh, watch the videos. And so I think what you have to do is take colors of the rainbow and then pick out products in general in your beauty collection according to the color so I had to I did kind of cheat a little bit with a couple of balls and nail polish but I didn't really have anything as far as some of these and some of these are actually my favorite so let's go ahead and start with red my favorite red product is going to be this nail polish from Love and Beauty now the packaging on this might have changed it's from say Forever 21 brand but it's the color red and nail polish this is one of my favorite red nail polishes besides the NYC one, but I decided to pick this one out. Their nail polishes are really good, even though it's only one. I think I've got, no, I've got the uh, glitter ones. Um, and they're usually about $2.80. So I've had this one for a while. Um, I used to just wear this around Christmas time, but now I would probably, now that I'm back to wearing nail polish, just wear this more often. So it's a really awesome nail polish. Orange, that was an easy choice for me because I got this last year in the, um, I think it was a Halloween collection, and oh my gosh, it's a freaking gorgeous one. Um, it's from Simple Colors, just like that, and it's called Courtney Orange. This is just a beautiful, beautiful orange color, and basically what you get, give me just a second. No, I don't have anything to swatch an eye on it. Yes, I do. It's packaging from a Sony Keshek. Yeah, that's not a good selection. Okay. Sorry. Wasn't as prepared as I thought it was, but um, I know you can't find. You might can find this on the internet, possibly. Who knows? Um, but I love this. This is a sheer color. I think this would go good over a solid c colored orange, but it's a really beautiful orange. And that's what the color looks like. Really gorgeous color. And I love it. And I believe I wore it quite a bit last fall, so there you go. Okay, yellow. I had to think about this for a second, and then I remembered what my favorite yellow product is. The Swap Professionals Dry Shampoo. Love this stuff. I actually um, use this today. Um, I have another bottle of this in my bathroom, and when I'm running out of this, I'm probably going to repurchase this. There's other dry shampoos out there, but um, I like this because it really does absorb the oil in my hair. And I managed to go three days without washing my hair with this product, so... Yeah, I believe it's under $3. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, green. What did I pick up for the green color? Was my, this is an Avon quad that sometimes I'll use. I haven't worn it in a while, to be honest with you. But it's a quad that Kayla Megan, one of my friends, had sent me. It looks like this. And when I was depleting some of my makeup um, items, this is one I kept. I love this palette because it's got different colors of orange that I would you know definitely use. Um, like you got your dark green, and then you're kind of the, the light, it's like the lighter green, kind of. And then it's got this color that, I mean, it's got the perfect wide range of greens that I need. And of course your highlight color. And I don't have any other Avon products, but this is one of my favorite things. Um, I did make a dent in it for, there for, for a while. And it is called Fresh Cut Green Squad. I don't know if they still have this, but you can go contact your local Avon representative and see if they do. Love it. I forgot I have my towel here. Okay, uh, blue, that was easily. Easily. I said easily. Hello, easy. Um, my Hello Aloha Pink Wild and Breezy stuff now i got this at of course victoria's secret this came out in the collection i don't think it's still out i went to go find Sunny and happy and they just continued i was pretty unhappy about that but well got over it anyway this is such a nice scent i mean 
and I've been working on this bottle for a while, uh, up until I started using the other ones, but, yeah. And I got the super soft body lotion here, and obviously the body mists, body mist. And I bought this, and I've had this since January of last year, and it just, it smells like a tropical day, you know, I mean, just the way a tropical island should be. So, and I have this on my vanity, I have to spray it in the drawer, so I will be using that, though. Uh, Violet, oh no, I skipped that, <laughs> Indigo, I did my best to pick Indigo, and I'm not really for sure this is the right color, so, I looked around several other videos and I tried, but this is the, uh, NYC, in a New York Minute, nail polish, quick dry one, this is in Chinatown, I tried to pick an, uh, and I'm pretty, I don't know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But this is one of my favorite nail polishes. I think I mentioned it when I was showing you my nail polish haul. I think I still don't check up there. No. But it's just a really gorgeous color. I mean, it's like, what, buck 50, buck 62 for this nail polish. And it didn't go on streaky, which I really do like. I'm trying to check out what's going on. Okay, it's just. There you go. So that's the color. I really like it. Love it. It kind of reminds me of like a dark blue jean color, you know? So there you go. Violet. I picked out... Okay. I could not pick out just one violet color. I've got many, many violet products that I do enjoy, but I picked out three. And let me show you the three. Okay. I count this as one. These are two... Elf single eyeshadows. I have not been a fan of their eyeshadows recently, but I did buy four of these eyeshadows and I do use these quite a bit. This purple one's right there. And this dark one is called obviously purple. It's a dollar and it you know you barely blend it out and you still get that pop of color. Let's show you what it looks like. And I was really happy with these uh, these two colors. So, Let's see if I can just swatch for you. That looks like it's really, really, really gorgeous. So yeah, I did cheat. The other one, if I can get it out, is called uh, Wisteria, and I love this color. That's the name of it. I believe you can find this at the L website or go to Target. That's where I bought mine at. It's just a really, really pretty color. I usually put the dark color on and then put this color on it. It's just a gorgeous color. It reminds me of a lip product. Actually, it reminds me of two lip products I have. This one reminds me, let's just go with the stretch here. It kind of reminds me of the lip butter and gumdrop. Okay. And then it also reminds me of the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm and Darling Cherie, which is this. Let me show the lip color. I don't know, for some reason it just looks like it. Maybe I'm, I'm probably going off of, yeah, well, the packaging does. Anyway, totally off subject, but yeah, um, here's the swatch. I don't know if you saw the swatch. A very, very, very pretty color, and I love these two. And then, actually, I got two more lip products. I'm sorry I cheated, but I could not help myself. The other one I have is Vintage Pink. Now, it says Vintage Pink, but it is a vintage, more like purple. This is from Rimmel London from the Moisture Renew. And I wear this a lot when I... Whenever I wear purple eyeshadows, get the stuff off of my. It's just a gorgeous color, and not to mention these lipsticks are very moisturizing. I checked at Ulta recently, and they still have this color, which I'm happy about because when I get done using this pretty soon, I will go and repurchase this. And then another one is the NYC product as well. It's NYC Sugar Plum. I don't know if they still have this color or not. Maybe uh, just check Walmart. That's where I bought mine. Or even check. Sometimes if I can't find it at Walmart, I find it at CVS. 
So there's that. Again, I cheated, but that's okay because I could not help myself. Okay, pink. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love pink. I could have picked any pink, but I picked the Play Doh Smelling uh, Lipstick from Maybelline Vivid's collection. This is number 860 Pink Pop. I love this lipstick. Oh my gosh. Honestly, it does smell like Play Doh, but it's got a gorgeous, I guess, a Barbie pink. And I haven't been wearing it lately because I've been trying to wear other lip products. Like the one I have on today. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Uh, for multicolored, I picked my Perfusion palette. <clears throat> you guys know that I love this palette. I've been wearing this last few days. I didn't wear it today. But I got this right around the holiday season. It was originally $14.99 in my local Walgreens. And they had it on sale for $7.49. Or $7 and for the price, you can't beat that. I mean, I honestly think this is better than the ELF 100 count palette, but I've played with a lot of these colors, trying to play play around with some more. And I've also got this awesome, I couldn't show you this on my camera on Keek. I did a Keek in a, on my other um, Keek channel. And then, anyway, my point is, I discovered there's a lime green color. Can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? I'm not sure if I'm, I'm a little chicken to wear it, but you know what, whatever. It swatches like that, and then you put it on, you're like, wow. I just thought that would be a cool little color to show you that on my better camera. So, yeah. Anyway, those are my answers for this uh, video. Went a lot longer than I thought it was going to do. Hope you guys enjoyed my answers. I tag Purple Kisses 1110, Chica 422, wait a minute, that's her keep name, Little Bonita, I'll put her name in there, Lisa, I'm sorry, I totally bombed your name, <laughs> wow, um, I tag Lorian, Beauty Maker, and more, Happily Ever, Happily Ever After 99, and of course, Joanna, Mommy Angel Eyes 6, and any one of you, I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anybody. I tag any of you out there who want to do the video, leave me a video response, or just let me know, you, you know, whichever. So, anyway, thanks a lot for joining me, guys. I'll see you in a bit.